Hi everyone, it's Kobe McCool. Thanks for checking out this video. Today, I've got some really cool stuff for you. I've put a beat idea together that I'm really happy with, with lots of techniques and producer tips that I'm gonna show you. And a lot of the sounds that I used in this beat came from a free sample pack, which I will link down below. And it's some really high quality stuff, or I should say, it's some good things, in the words of Sicky Beats. Good things. Because of course the free sample pack came from Sicky Beats himself. If you haven't heard of him, I'll link him down below. The sample pack is called Pandora and there are two versions. There's the free version with some really high quality sounds and that's the one I used for this beat. There's also the Pandora Experience, which I'm very intrigued to perhaps buy because if it's anything like the free sample pack is, but there's just lots more of it, then it sounds great. Also, if you haven't seen his trailer for the sample pack yet, I would definitely go check that out. I have no idea how he put that together, but it's really cool. I have no affiliation with Siki or this sample pack. I just thought it was really cool and wanted to share it with you. And I really enjoyed what it helped me create. And I hope that it could help some of you create something really fun too. I downloaded the free version. I was playing around with it and I came up with this and I thought, okay, I have to make a video about this and show you all because it's all top quality stuff. So if you're new to this channel, then welcome along. It's great to have you here. If you find value in this video, then please do click like, subscribe, leave a comment, any of those wonderful things. And it inspires me even more to keep making these videos. And whilst you're at it, go subscribe to Siki as well. Stars on the horizon, burning inferno Atmosphere is rising, leave my body down below Dreaming real as I am, feeling my heart flow My mind gives in the lightning, blinding gold No wonder now my world is shaken Loving the energy coming from that. So I started off with this pulsing synth and I designed these between Vital and Serum. And I just took a sine wave and made it pulse by altering the filter to go up and down. And then just threw on a couple different effects and some delay just to try and space that out. And then created more or less the same thing in Vital, but just added some bit crush distortion to it. <laughs> that was the same thing with the low pass filter, just cutting off the highs quickly at a sixteenth of a bar. And then also having the portamento set so that it would slide between each chord. Again, being forced to print out the wave file really helps to be bold with the decisions you make to then fit that sound around the drums and everything else. Having it pulsing all the time is just a bit too jarring and overpowering. It's nice when it surges and then it disappears and then reappears. It keeps the interest all the way through. I then added in this guitar which I got from Spitfire Audio which is free and I'll link that down below. I originally had this guitar jumping up and down like this which was fine, again, on its own, but when I combined it with everything else, it was just too busy. It just worked much better when I had that one pulsing note. And then I made the sound way more interesting by adding the delay and having the delay ping-ponging from side to side and then also some reverb. Then I combined the effects of that synth sound and the guitar sound, blurred them together and reversed them to create this atmospheric sound. And that just gels those two sounds together really nicely. And then the next element to add in was just this thick, heavy sub that I've designed in Vital. I 
didn't do anything too special with that sub, I just wanted it to be thick and full, so I changed the pattern a couple of times and then just kept it really simple. Then onto the drums. Here is where Siki's free sample pack really came in handy. A quick look into the sample pack, Pandora by Siki, you've got the drums, the effects, and the vocals are the main things that you get within the free pack. You've got everything from standard kick, clap, snare, 808, hats, and then you've also got some more creative ones and this radioactive section here, which is actually really interesting and very inspiring. There's just lots of unique sounds in there with some great sound design on those drums. This kick is from the pack. And so is this snare. So are these toms. Equally are the hats and the shakers that I use later on. And I believe the clap is as well. So the bones of the drums were all from Siki's sample pack. And then took some other sounds that I thought gelled well together. Also the inspiration for this drum fill, which is probably one of my favourite parts of this whole beat, came from Siki's pack as well. I found this fill. It was through finding that fill that I thought, hmm, I could actually put a really cool fill to lead into this drop because originally I didn't have any of it there. So if I turn it all off and play that, it just doesn't have the same impact. And then blind and go. So I took that original sound, but I also beefed it up by adding in other sounds, panning them ever so slightly to either side. So if I break that down, I found this really nice tom snare roll and then some separate tom sounds. And these have much bigger, more expansive, large drum sounds. When you gel them all together, it sounds epic. Pretty much all of the drum sounds themselves are quite dry and don't have that massive spaciousness. One of the tips I learned from Reed Stefan was he mentioned that you can keep all your drums in the same sort of area, but if you have a fill, you can make your fill almost contrast the main drums. They are almost a completely different texture. They've got different qualities to them. So these sound more grand and epic versus the other drums that sound tight, sharp and snappy. Totally dry versus really big. And then it was just a case of making creative decisions about where to put things in, where to take things away, and all of that just comes with taste and decision making. Then I added some different risers and sound effects. Just to try and emphasize the flow and direction of everything. with some nice impact and some little delicate bells. And then also I recorded this rain stick recently, which I've also got at the beginning and it just creates a nice atmosphere. And I added some reverb to that just to try and make it even more spacious. Then the other sample back elements I used were these vocals. So I used these two different vocals. I just pitched them so that they fit the key of the song. I created some reverb and some atmospheres with them. and then pitched some of them down, added some delays, some other reverb to them, and even recorded some of my own vocals just to try and make that more interesting. And I think there's quite a little bit more that I would do by playing around with some little vocal ideas if I were to finalize this song, but it was great for some inspiration. And and then once I had all of those elements together, it was just about manipulating them so that they all gelled really well together and moved as this really smooth and chill unit. I wanted to experiment with them and see if I could create something a little bit different. This pack is very versatile and could be used for a whole array of different genres. So there are probably countless possibilities with the full version. So that was that. I really hope that you enjoyed this beat and this video and please do click the link below, check out the sample pack, click like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you found it valuable. If you watched all the way to now, you're a legend. I hope you enjoyed 
enjoy this beat. I really look forward to sharing the next video with you, and you can probably click on one of those right now. But until then, bye. Feeling my heart flow. My mind gives in the